I can't see a way for people to exercise leadership and help others around them you know navigate the challenges of life and grow and survive if they don't have the power of being empathetic because what's the core of leadership the core of leadership is how you mobilize people organizations families individual countries so that they can work together in difficult situations to solve the problems that they're facing to continue their journey of survival learn grow and capture or create opportunities so that life can become better that's what leadership is about now notice that I've said the word mobilize mobilize whom mobilize people it is hard to mobilize people over the long term and inspire them and help them endure difficult times or take on difficult challenges to create something beautiful you know create opportunities without being empathetic without connecting with them without supporting them now you can do that through tyranny you can do that by terrorizing people you can do that through brutal force you can do that by abusing people you can do that but over a short period of time and people will cooperate with you to the extent that it satisfies you and it reduces the amount of abuse that you're subjecting them to but they will never go the extra mile in fact they will do whatever it takes to survive you know your abuse until they find themselves strong enough to change their reality and maybe get back at you with vengeance because we're human beings we don't like pain and people who hurt us remain in our memories and we're programmed for defense mechanism to keep pain or ho those who cause pain away from us so they will come back with vengeance empathy compassion support encouragement that's how you mobilize people now I'm not saying you know these are the only ways sometimes you also have to be tough tough not in the sense in the sense that you're you know unjust or ruthless I'm not saying that but tough in terms of firmness in terms of you know taking responsibility of uh, in terms of being strong in terms of you know doing your share of of doing what it takes so that you know everybody can work together and 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 solve the problems so you have to be firm and tough sometimes sometimes I mean seriously tough but in a constructive way for a purpose that is constructive you know for a purpose that prevents people from sliding into passiveness or into giving up or to surrender to you know to to uh, to an, uh, a negative fate so you have to know how to combine this mixture of toughness of firmness through truth brutal truth with empathy and compassion and love and embracing others you have to do that why is that because that's what human beings you know that's what they are they are this entire spectrum of emotions they will feel vulnerable sometimes they will feel weak sometimes they will feel confused they will feel scared they will feel sad they will feel that they need to grieve they will feel that they need time to recover they will feel that they need help they need encouragement they need you to give them time to be patient with them to listen that's what human beings are about that's how you are as a human being and I'm sure you felt this through some periods of your life and if you haven't I'm sure you'll you'll feel it because life is full of challenges so 
the importance of empathy is part or it's related to the importance of connecting with others in their moments of weakness and vulnerability. And the importance of connecting with others is part of the importance of mobilizing others. And mobilization is important because that's the tool of leadership. That's how you exercise leadership by mobilizing others through guidance, through inspiration, through being an example, through um, uh, education, through uh, increasing their level of consciousness, through being there, you know, to give them the right tools, so through giving them clarity on their way forward, through giving them, you know, a roadmap forward. So all of these and many others are the tools of mobilization so that you can exercise leadership. Now, take out empathy and compassion and I feel the whole process will be crippled. So when you're exercising leadership, of course you need to focus on what needs to be done. But always remember that it's about people. It is with people, through people, and for people. And because of this reality, because of the nature of this challenge, you have to be empathetic. You have to listen and be supportive. And most of all, you have to know how to balance this mixture of doing whatever it takes, including being firm and empathetic as per the requirement to make sure that you and your people keep moving forward. And difficult times, till difficult times pass, and you emerge into sunlight and you emerge into a new day full of opportunities.